Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, with this video we are going to understand chapter number 12 here we have representation and description. So for representation we have gone through the several topics like the boundary following algorithm, the representation by the use of chain codes, the boundary approximations using the minimum perimeter polygon addressing its merging techniques, splitting techniques also splitting techniques. Then we have the signatures, skeletons into the representation, the descriptions we started with, the shape numbers, the Fourier descriptors we have covered and in the previous video the statistical moments we have addressed. So let us see the details of region descriptors in this video. So here we begin with our topic region descriptors. So we consider various approaches for describing the image regions that are the outcome of the image segmentation techniques. So now it is common practice to use both the boundary and the regional descriptors into combined form. The area of the region can be defined as the number of pixels present into that specific region that is very very obvious and the perimeter of the region is the length of the given regional boundary. So although the area and the perimeter are sometimes used as the descriptors they apply primarily to the situations in which the size of the regions of interest is very invariant. A more frequent use of these two descriptors is in the measurement of the compactness of the region that is defined as perimeter square divided by its area. The compactness is a dimensionless quantity and thus which is insensitive to the uniform scale changes and further it is minimal for the disk shaped region. So with the exception of the errors introduced by the purpose of rotation of a digital region, the compactness is also very insensitive to the orientation. Other simple measures that can be used as the region descriptors includes mean and the median of the gray levels, the minimum and maximum gray level values and the number of pixels with the values above and below the mean. Now we can have an example. So even a simple region descriptors such as the normalized area can be quite useful in extracting the information from the images. So for instance, let us visualize a figure that shows a satellite infrared image of the Americas. So infrared images of the Americas continent at the night that we can see in this particular figure. So right from the North America to the South American continent, we have these infrared images. So the four sub images we have arranged to show you with respect to the map along with a simple tabulation of region numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 with respect to the ratio of lights per regions to the total number of lights given as 0 0.204 corresponding to the first region at the top. For the second region we have 0 0.640. For the third region we have 0 0.049 and for the last fourth region we have the value 0 0.107. So the maximum value we can have at the second region. So the span is also more and it is exactly the US there it is located. So the images such as these we have visualized provides a global inventory of the human settlements actually. The sensor used to collect these images has the capability to detect the visible as well as the near infrared emissions such as the lights, fires and flares. So the table that just now we have discussed alongside the images shows the ratio of the area occupied by the white to the total light area into all the four regions. So this was the image and this was the corresponding table. So the data can be refined by normalizing it with respect to the landmass per region with respect to the population numbers and so on. So I hope this is clear with respect to the region descriptors. 
by the next lecture we shall be addressing the another topic in the same chapter called as topological descriptors so if you want to have some more information in this subject regarding any of the concepts or practical hands on using the matlab software or the practice of miscellaneous problem to make your concepts more clear you can definitely subscribe to our ekeda channel thank you